Wednesday, November 10th. Um, sometimes the smallest little abrasion or interaction with the humans means something totally different in another world or another realm of the confusing Confucius people um, who try to help in a different fashion um, or a different format. Um, so I'm just feeding that system with feedback because for me it's hard. The only feedback I have is how the feed bag, F-E-E-D-B-A-G, is hung. So the feed bag this morning was Linda. She's doing laundry. Seems like a nominal task, no big deal. If you take the human expectation, judgment, and opinion out of the story, it just they're just facts. So Lynn is doing laundry. She was watching TV prior to going down there, putting the machine on. Um, she likes to do these tasks herself. When she doesn't do them herself, then gigantic amounts of anxiety erupt, and she starts malfunctioning and yelling for no reason, with no logical, like anything in the atmosphere. So now, she pauses the TV, she walks downstairs with the laundry, I'm getting my shoes on, my jacket on, and getting ready for my first walk. I ask the Alexa, which is not this one, but something along these lines, to play a song, Sweet Escape to motivate me to get myself, like, moving, because I'm just, I'm, I'm carrying a lot of weight, and I'm carrying a lot of pain in my articulate joints, and on my bodice. I don't know what the pound weight system of metrics is. I haven't gotten on their scale. I'm not getting into that. I know the interstitial, plasmodic, what relation to outside, the ratio, the barometric ratio is off, which is causing health issues. Um, but, I mean, I'm exercising, I'm keeping flow, I'm trying, and it's getting worse. Anyway, so Linda leaves, so I'm listening to the song, I'm putting my shoes on, which it's hard to bend over, by the way. The diaphragm gets pushed in such a way that you can't even catch an, you can't catch your breath and it's hard to hold air in the lungs as you're leaning over uh, for the whole time it takes to tie one shoelace and then you gotta try to take another breath and then go down for the other the next one because um, the chemistry and the mixture of air around here is not the best um, it's hypoxic so, um, Linda comes up, and she starts yelling. She's like, Alexa, off! And she's like, why would you... I'm like, you went downstairs for laundry. She goes, yes, well, you know I was coming back up. I did. In the time it took you to put the laundry in, I was listening to one song on the Alexa. It was a simple on while I'm getting ready to walk out the door and then it goes off. No one touched your TV. No one touched your chair. No one touched anything to do with what you were already involved in before you walked out of the room. I was just in a parallel listening to one song while I put my shoes on. I don't get the logic of where the viral anger and the viral anger comes from, from her level of human. I really, I don't. I have no patience for it either. I'm just like, shut up. I'm done. Don't talk to me. I'm walking away. And I walked out of the house. 
Um, but these little interactions have been my entire life. Luke complains about the same thing with her, but not in the same way, because he's not as intelligent. He's not able to separate himself from the motion, the emotion, the motion, the action, and the interaction. For some reason, he's not equipped. He gets into storytelling and, like, the poor me and the Zietica and the... Whatever. We are not the same. Um, the other thing is, is that there were, uh, differences between Lynn and I, um... When Linda was home, she used to watch soap operas. S O A P O P E R A S. I know at syndicate level and floating boats and targeted audiences, that was like an American thing women did. I was never programmed for that. Um, I know that Jason's mom and sister. They watched one level syndicate soap opera. My family was programmed to watch the complete opposite set of soap operas. For sure. I've already confirmed this. So without going into prefix, premise, and title. I don't know how I got defiled. I don't know what that means actually in like human terms. At like where I need it to hit its target mark. But I think there's something def like about defiled that's important um, in my esoteric linguistical prowess, but I don't know who to address that level of vocabulary to and where it becomes pertinent inside of a building block system of a conceptual to understate and to have and to build correctly the relationship between the authority and myself. At this point, I'm obedient within the laws of this broken nature and broken whatever, but I'm in broken physics. I'm just trying to diagnose where I see the brokenness um, for the authority figure who takes care of weather, the planet, and the atmosphere, and the human constraint that holds us up healthy and in tune with the invisible part of our existence. Um, I don't really have a direct... I mean, I have the person I was built and was born to be with, but that's been derailed somehow, unbeknownst to me, which is what caused... Oh, and this is the other thing really important. I wouldn't... Jay, when I got pregnant with Benjamin, I got the tiger claw, um, laser marks, like, almost, like, down to the, like, end burned like crazy when I woke up with them, pressure, whatever, seizure. And then I carried the baby. I had the baby. And not until after World Trade Center fell... And Jason was in the police academy. Up until that point, Jason Peter Roman, 1976, had a regular forehead. Just a big, regular forehead. Nothing on it. But at police academy graduation, like right before the photos at police academy, he went out with the boys, we'll call it, he was drinking, and he fell off a stool. I was home. Um, I should think about this. I was home, and um, I got a phone call from somebody. I had to go meet in a hospital, I think St. Vincent's Hospital. So I rush in emergency um, to St. Vincent's. And there, he was so belligerent and irate, they had to sedate him and posy vest him, I was told. And, which I didn't know what any of these things were. And then they, I had to wait, I asked for, not the general surgeon, I asked for a plastic surgeon to come to look over um, his whatever 
because it was right in the middle of his forehead and I didn't know how to handle it and I didn't know what it was. When the plastic surgeon came, I mean, like, you want to talk craftsmen, it was just absolutely amazing to watch a craftsman at work. The way that this, he made the sutures so beautifully perfect and pulled it all in, and then it looked like the Harry Potter scar of, but, it, I mean, it was what he had to work with when he, Jason hit the floor. It just split open, and it happened to split in a pattern that when you put the pieces back together, had that whatever. So that was it. So he got the stitches. We went for a follow-up with the plastic surgeon and thanked him for his beautiful craftsmanship. Um, and that was it. We left. So... It's, there's nothing more about the plastic surgeon other than he may have known the backstory better than I did at that point, but that's the mark of the whatever that he got. So in this NYPD position, he didn't get bigger than his britches, and he kept his story straight, considering I have a different scar system that the general public can't see when I'm walking around, but it's more painful, and it was more of a shock, and there was no doctor necessarily involvement, just human witnesses, about the the stretch that happened, that do, even the word doesn't make sense, as to the way that it scarred on the uh, bottom portion of my pelvic, well, on my pelvic portion of my belly with a pregnant baby inside of it. Um, so that's an important factor. Um, and this is all part of the environmental, um, and before I did the difference, I didn't even realize myself. When I see pictures so far of planet, I really don't pay attention. I haven't paid attention. Nobody's made it important enough to pay attention to the different planets. Um, they look very muted in color. Um, not anything that has life or characteristic to it. Um, or leading or persuasion, per se. It's just been a muted palette of round balls that their significance has never been spoken about in my life frame. Um, so that's incredibly important within this as well. Star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Caterosa. I'm just in here trying to panic safely and document each piece as I go. Not only the input from the television the humans use in some way to persuade the public one way or the other, which I find incredibly dangerous, but um, also to report on the actual health um, piece of how my body in motion is being affected with each one and some of its interaction with feedback. Um, which is a horrible thing, but if you're a horse and you have no hands and somebody puts a bag of feed on your head, that's how you eat. So if I'm not trying to start trouble with anyone and I'm just in the room and the animation pieces turn to me and receive some kind of AM, FM, J, Jason, DJ signal, that then makes them act in a certain way that has no logic or algorithm that's part of a healthy, normal, familial relationship. I'm just trying to document that because I've had a lot of that going on and I'm not quite sure how it's being used and why it's being manipulated into the scenes that keep occurring in my visual cortex. 
that's me being in this piece right here with no post-it note whatsoever, while post-it notes all over the place at all different levels, all different understandings and overstandings are functioning in some manner. And there's some, there's like one neural network that gets, that is used. And then there's some form of feedback, whether it be negative or whether it be positive in some kind of relationship in neural network that then moves the next set of sequences and patterns forward. Star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Caterosa, it's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken and I'm in Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.